Hey guys, welcome back to another podcast, and in today's podcast, I'm going to be talking about how you can be a successful YouTuber in three different ways. Maybe some more, but mainly the three different ways that you can be a successful YouTuber. But first, I'm going to talk about, at the beginning of, well, (laughs) at the beginning of my YouTube career, I had, like, I was just like, I wanted a YouTuber. I wanted to be a YouTuber for so many years, and I was just like, gonna get it one day, gonna get it one day. I always had hope that I was gonna get one. And every time I was about to get one, it just was put off into a different thing. And I finally got one, like, in halfway through 2023. And down here to now, to, um, the specific day that I'm making it, um, December 24th, 2023, I've grown a lot. I like I kind of made my first video. I was I just threw it out there. It was barely edited. I used all the knowledge that I had for editing. And if I um the blueprint podcast actually inspired me inspired me to make my own podcast. And if I watched that before I had made my YouTube channel, I would be at what I am right now and like half the time that I did that. By November, I'd probably be at where I am now. For the first month, I would. If I had all my skills now and made a new channel, I would be probably really good. And I've lost a couple of skills down the road. Like, I went down a lot. Like, my videos started to get non-views. And then it went up a bit just to get the hype up. And then people were like, oh, this is kind of cool, and back down. Sorry about that. Went back down. And then it went up again with my trick shot video. The 11, 11K? On the um, analytics, it said um, 11.1K. But normally it just says 11K. That, and then I started to go a bit up. And I used... What I had before to do that, but I also lost some, like the editing thing that I use. It had like an update, <laughs> and I don't know how to do anything now, so we're figuring that out. And now I'm just like, <laughs> great, we're at the, probably the minimum amount that we can be. If I figured out how to do the editing thing more, we'd probably be at the top. If I could like make more better thumbnails, I, we would definitely be better. Let's go to the first pillar. The first pillar, let me think. First pillar to be a successful YouTuber. Consistency. If you're not consistent with your content, people are going to drive away from your YouTube channel and go to something else. Like let's say I I, ha- I had a, um, a burnout when I was a little bit in my YouTube channel, I had a burnout for like a couple of weeks. Or maybe it was like a month or something. I had a burnout, like a long burnout. And then when I finally came back up, I posted one video. And I never <laughs> did the thing that I said, I'm actually probably going to delete it. Or I'll keep it just to remind myself that you shouldn't make a video if you're not done with your burnout. Once you're done with your burnout, you should make a video. But don't make a coming soon video if you're not actually going to do it. And then after that video I made, I my burnout was still going. The burnout was still continuing, and then I finally started to go back into stuff. The advent calendar videos, when my advent, my um, my parents got my advent calendar, I um, knew that I was going to make videos on it. When I started making the shorts on it, I was like, oh, <laughs> never going to have a burnout in a while because that's something to do. Like, 25 days, like, 25 shorts. Like, I could do that across December. Like, almost the whole month of December, I would be making tons of videos or shorts. I also made a lot of, well, I made a little bit of random shorts in there just to, like, get away from the advent calendar, just to, like, t- get a break because people just, when they... Um, see that I made an upload, they're probably going to be like, just an admin calendar. But I, when I started making, like, some stuff randomly, when I uploaded, they'd have more hope, probably. And consistency is also good with higher YouTubers. 
um, YouTubers. It's not just good for low YouTubers. It's also like high, higher YouTubers need to do it. Lower um, YouTubers need to do it as well. Like, let's say Mr. Beast. He does a great job of like balancing all the pillars that I'm about to tell you about. He is consistent. Like, and his videos are really good. Like, and he has how many channels? There's a Mr. Beast channel. Um, Beast Gaming, Beast Reacts. I feel like I'm gonna miss one. The um Beast Philanthropy one. I think that's how you say it. He has maybe that's it. No, he has a shorts channel, so he has like five channels that he needs to do. And it, I feel like the more channels you have, the down the more down it he also has a chocolate company. He has Carl Gummies. Well, Carl Gummies. And he needs to take care of all of that. So he also needs to take care of uploading. But he also um has like tons of money. I'm not saying he's a greedy rich person. I'm just saying he has the money to do it. Like the challenges that he makes. Um, like the grocery store, surviving one hundred days in the grocery store. He was like giving the guy money and he was also taking the food and donating it. So it was like a win win for everybody. Except for him, he was losing money, but he got views, which gets him more money. So it was a win-win for everybody, like a recycling thing. Um, Unspeakable also does this greatly. He kind of, he does I don't know how to explain He does it greatly because he's consistent. He has a plays channel, a reacts channel, and the Blueprint, um, Blueprint podcast, um, which he kind of just does with um, Cedric his cameraman or one of his cameramans and it's just a podcast that they do and they help small creators like me be better and better and the next pillar is um audience if you're not posting what your audience audience <laughs> audience wants they're not gonna click on your videos Maybe some other people will, but they'll probably be like, wait, I, I could watch so many better videos than this. Keep what your audience audience wants and, like, stick with it. If they like Minecraft videos, like, let's say my, my first video is a Minecraft video. And it got, like, 63 views, which was good Um, back when I was small. <laughs> no one watches it anymore. It's stuck at 63 views for a really long time, and... A lot of people like the unspeakable viewers. Since he doesn't like upload that much, they can go and watch his other older videos. And his older videos still get like millions of views, even in twenty twenty three. Like Mr. Beast old videos, a lot of people watch him. Because they're like he hasn't changed his content. Like Mr. Beast kinda of throws out random stuff. He doesn't really do one specific thing. He helps people he does some challenge, he does some random stuff, he buys a bunch of stuff, he does one dollar to a million dollar, one dollar to a billion dollar house, one dollar to a billion dollar vacation, plane, so on, etc. And that's that's why people go and watch his older videos, because they're like, well, this guy hasn't really changed. His older videos are also good. And that's like, yeah. People can, like, rely on his old videos for backup videos if they need to watch it. Also, Unspeakable. He d he does kind of the same thing as Mr. Beast. He does some challenges. He doesn't really do one to one billion or one to one million or stuff. He did um the bike video. The bike video. I guess the one dollar to one ten one hundred million dollar bike. Stuff like that. He also does challenges. Like the um the whole challenge, one of his most recent videos actually. He does like random stuff like I'm trying to think here. He does random stuff too, like he creates shorts that are just random on his other channels, his play like other channels are where you do specific stuff. Your main channel could be a specific thing. But mostly like whatever you want to do. Like if I made a gaming channel then I would only do gaming, and then my main channel, I could put some gaming on there. Let's say I make a shorts channel. I could, I would still do short, shorts on my main channel, just like Mr. Beast does. 
on um, his regular channel, he does shorts, and on his shorts channel, it's only shorts, it's a spe specific thing, like, he wouldn't do a video on his shorts channel, like, if I had Bossman T3 shorts, I wouldn't, or Bossman shorts, I wouldn't put a video on there, if I, if I made a live channel where I only live stream, Bossman T3 live, I wouldn't post a video on there, or a short, I mean, I might post a short to, like, on my main channel to hype up the channel, like, I'm gonna go live at this o'clock or whatever and then the next pillar is think here this there are specific pillars but i'm just kind of going with what i think the next pillar ooh, there's a lot of pillars i can go in the third these are main spots the third main spot there's a lot that could go in the third main spot so we have audience consistency and uh, I would say, honestly, I would say probably procrastination. You could, like, non-procrastination, which is kind of the same thing as consistency, but you also have to edit the videos, which editing isn't really consistency, so non-procrastination is one of is probably one of them probably not the third main but it's it's probably one of them like maybe the fourth one but i would put it up in the third because that's really important like let's say i need to like i made a video and i need to edit it and i'm just like yeah i'll i'll do it later i gotta play some fortnite or play some minecraft or i gotta really tired gotta go to bed that's also, like, if you don't like YouTube, like, you're not doing what you want to do, and you're like, oh, man, I really do not want to do this, but if you're, if you really like your channel, like, if you really like doing YouTube, you keep doing it, you, like, you're gonna be like, what's the time? Oh my gosh, it's 12.30, I have to go to bed now so I can wake up and do more videos. You're like, if you love it, you'll keep doing it. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't say I like do. I mean, I like doing videos, but brainstorming I do not like. Like, I need people to give me ideas. I can't just, like, sit there and, man, what should I do for content? I have to, like, like, jumping on the trampoline gives me inspiration for some reason. I just really like to jump on trampoline. And it's raining outside. That's not why I have the lights off. I have the lights off because, um. I feel like it just focuses more. <laughs> anyway, I, I like to jump on trampoline. That gives me brainstorming ideas. I can't just like sitting down doesn't give me a brainstorm idea. I have to, I have to jump on trampoline. I mean, I I have this piece of paper that I have, which is outside of my room. I have that piece of paper, and it is um, it's like brainstorming ideas. A lot of those ideas are great, but if my dad's not home which he has the Oculus app. I can't do VR. We need to link it still, but I can't do VR. But coming soon, though, coming soon. I can't, well, I could do gaming videos, but I'd rather go outside right now, but it's raining. <laughs> it's raining, you can't really see it, but it, it is raining. I get, yeah, I have that whole thing of brainstorming. I Burnout is kind of also procrastinate. There's like a pinch of procrastination and burnout burnout is kind of like I, I don't really want to do this i'll put it up for later and like you don't want to make videos like you're burnt out like you're like i can't do I, like i can't think of anything like there's nothing which is what i did with my burnout and i just didn't upload like i didn't want to upload or anything i was burnt out of youtube i was tired of it i was putting out videos as much as i could And that is it for today's podcast. I know it's a pretty short podcast, but there's going to be longer podcasts coming soon. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.